Welcome to part six of Alan Wake Remastered. It was part five last time we ended here. There's a plane crash to the left here. There, that thing there. It's an arrow that's now pointing this way. That wasn't pointing that way before. Oh, that's new, that arrow. Oh. Oh, I've already been up there. So we're good. Now that breathing is not me into the um, microphone or anything like that. That is the game. It's coming from the game. I got a feeling I got to go down here. Make it through the woods. I'd love to. batteries. There was a lamp down there. Uh -oh. Ah, come on, mate. Oh, Floyd Mayweather. Yes, please. Hunting rifle ammo. Oh, yeah. Just j jump. The calisthenics to start it. Oh, I like the light. The light makes me feel safe. I know I don't need to come down here. And I know if I come too far, I'll end up... running into more of these punks, but... I don't need to go up there, right? Seems I'm heading the right way. I'm not missing any pages, am I? I hate when it's all oh. oh! Oh shit! Checkpoint reached. I have to admit, I don't hate the amount of checkpoints it gives me. I actually like it. I was about to say his battery lasts forever, but I have to keep replacing it. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! It's falling, it's falling. Jeez. Louise. Sack of rice. So there's like little black ghost spots or something. 
revolver ammo. I need some batteries. That's what I need. I do want to come and look in here. In case there's some batteries. I'm missing. Ooh. Manuscript page. I'm the king of missing those. The logging site was a mess. The modular office had been pushed off the cliff. Deputy Thornton climbed up from the wreckage, excited, breathing hard from the exertion. Nobody there. It's weird. Don't you think that's weird? Boy, Mulligan let out a mighty snort. Hell, it's always weird, Thornton. Just a question of sorting out what kind of weird it is this time around. It's weird as hell, bro. Go up another level. It's nothing. How do I get there? Oh. Kick. Where, where, where? Another page. When Barry saw the darkness attack the visitor center, it made him a believer. The men Al said he'd shot, they hadn't been just locals on crank. Somehow the world had changed, like the channel had been switched without warning. You think you're watching a sitcom and you're really watching a horror show. When the birds started attacking the cabin, Barry wasn't surprised. Just terrified. Terrified. Reach the top of the mill. I wonder if it hurts me if I step on that stuff. Thermos. Oh. A ladder. Anything else around here I'm missing? Oh. This looks dodgy. <laughs> Told you it looks dodgy. Shit's gonna fall on my head. Now we're making it through the woods again. The darkness wears her face. Oh! You know what? I'm gonna give the hunting rifle a go. Holy smokes! Well. Guys, all right. Say that for a rainy day. Oh, he's calf muscles, man. Oh, that's another hunting rifle. Just gives me more ammo. I'm okay with that. Do I have to select the flares specifically, don't I? Okay, yeah. So I think up here? Nope. Can I just go through here? Nope. Ah, here. Checkpoint. There's some batteries! I don't know which way to go. Not down here, I know, but I thought there'd be something around here. Sort of collectible I'm missing. It's always the case. Or not. Ooh. Fall down there, mate.
Her hunting rifle is killer. I'm a big fan. I thought I'd use the flares. I probably should use them. Oh. Cool. Oh wow, I've got all the ammo I can get, eh? Reload weapon. Ah, oh, I can't go back and get my uh, ammo. Ooh. Okay. Guess we're going up through here. I'd like to make it through the woods tonight. It would be really nice to do it in this episode. It's a light here. Oh. Barry? Ow! The porch is covered with birds. They've got all Hitchcock on me. Stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. What am I, crazy? Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just oh, make sure is. you keep the lights on. Return to Barry. I still had to reach Barry at the cab, but at least I was out of the woods. All right, we made it out of the woods. We got batteries. Got a little bit of light. It's a car. I'd have to get the car from the locked garage. It would get me back to Barry faster. And the headlights were a welcome bonus. Uh okay. Or I need to find the keys. I couldn't kick the shit out of that door. The FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered what? surrender. FBI? It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in, let someone else deal with it. But it felt all wrong. Cold instinct, his posture, the way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. I don't like that. I don't want to stumble in no darkness. Good vibes, this place. It's giving me bad vibes. I had to find the key to the garage. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. 
You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. You can yourself. Far out. Jeez, that made the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. Jeez, the wheat. I know what you're thinking. Where are you going, Jimbo? Just check for thermoses and stuff, you know? Just never know. I thought maybe I should kick this out of the way. You're in the way, bro. Ah, good enough. I'm actually driving? I lost two doors. I think maybe I shouldn't hit them. I lost two doors hitting that one guy. Right? Oh shit. Harder to drive than you think. I don't know how to get around. Go off the beaten track. I think I've got the edge of my die. This is an error. Oh shit. Oh shit. Definitely an error. Oh! I'm stuck. Great job, Jimbo. Stop spinning the camera on me! <laughs> okay. That was the situation. Oh, good, good. Oh. I sp it spins the camera on you. Look, it's doing that on its own. I'm not spinning the camera at all. Lost the door already. Bitch heads. Same thing last time.
Do I get? Can I get out of the cup? I can. Okay. Maybe that's what I've got to do. Maybe the car can only take me so far. Barry's up here. The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine. Oops. Ah! Oh, shit. I can't. There's probably going to be stuff here, isn't there? Or did I? I came through here already. Didn't I? Yeah, yeah, I did already. Nothing special. We can make it back to Barry by the end of the episode, I'm sure. Stay under the light. It was the kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, Wake! You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... a week. Not done? I need a week. Two days! The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. If not, well, uh, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. Just gonna give up like that? Where's Barry? Oh, is this not the house with Barry? Crazy little bitch ass, Barry. Oh. Time to pull out this gun. Barry had talked about birds over the phone. got in here before I blocked the chimney. This isn't normal. These birds are weird. Let me in there.
got no more flare gun ammo. One more. There's some more up here. Sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. Whoa. I sent Barry to the town to the ask episode. around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. Interesting. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. Bye now. See you soon. Have a great day. Yeah, Hope you like come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the old oh dear diner. Good girl. Uh oh. Spaghetti. End of chapter two or something. Come here. Pretty please. Can you tell me where I am? You want to say something? I need to get my bearings. I'm Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see a wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent. I'm not Barry. sure how many episodes there are. The killer. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So. Dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline is ah. in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. Ransom. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's Maybe. make this quick, huh? Help you folks? My name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner? Rose, Wait for sure. He's talking. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always oh, pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from quiet. the local newspaper's archives. I know it's not talking this to me. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. 
I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. They... <laughs> now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving. So much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Awesome story, man. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we finished episode two, so I'm Come not on, quite mister. sure. I'll take you to Rose's trail. Be quiet. I'm not quite sure how long uh, each episode is. I think it's about three, three parts, roughly. Being that this is part six, so um, I, I'm not sure not how far. many uh, episodes there are either. If you did enjoy this episode, thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe on the video. If you didn't enjoy, let me know in the video as well what you didn't Listen, enjoy. I got things to do. This place don't run itself. Seriously, man, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that just because you're annoying me. Um, please also follow my Twitch if you get the chance. Twitch.tv forward slash the No Good Game. I do some fun community games. Uh, retro games and a lot of multiplayer stuff as well that is on Thursday, Saturdays and Sundays and also you can follow me on Instagram at the no good game as well thank you so much for watching i'll see you on the next one